Hello and welcome to 4P at CC, the perpetually paralyzed puppet players brought to you by Barbara Bush at Cypress Creek, a branch of the Harris County Public Library. This week we present to you... Queen Penelope of Ithaca, it has been 20 years now since your husband left to fight in the Trojan War. Surely he is not returning and you must marry me. No, Antonius, Odysseus will be back. The war was going on for 10 of those years, so really he's only 10 years late. 10 years is too long for Ithaca to be without a king. I rule just fine, thank you. Even if I was going to remarry, why would I choose you over the 107 other suitors eating me out of house and home and demanding my hand in marriage? I am the best. And you will choose me. Odysseus is never returning. <laughs> Mom, did he say Dad's not coming back? Of course he is, Telemachus. I'm tired of waiting. I'm going to go find out what happened to him. Somebody get me a ship. Hello, Telemachus. Welcome to Sparta. Menelaus, you fought alongside my father in the Clone Wars. Trojan War. Right, that's what I said. Anyway, where's my dad? Gosh, he was with us when the war ended. Then we got on our ships to sail back home. Athena cursed us to have difficult journeys, but the rest of us made us back okay. Why would Athena curse you? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, I'm going to go for a walk. La 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 la. Oof. Oops, sorry, young woman. God. Uh, young God, sorry. I'm as old as time itself. What? I'm as old as time itself. I'm not young. Well, I can't just call you God. You could call me Athena. Well, I didn't know you were called Athena. How do you get to become a God then? I began as an ache in Zeus's head, and then I burst forth from his head fully formed. Strange women lying about in people's heads is no basis for a system of theology. Strange notions in people's heads is the only basis for a system of theology. Why did you curse my father? Of all the Greek warriors, Ajax was the strongest. You might even say that Ajax was stronger than Greece. When the, the Greeks fought, took Ilium, Ajax the Great ruined my temples there. Wait a minute. You were helping the Greeks defeat the Trojans, and the Trojans still had temples worshipping you? Cool, huh? Anyway, after I won the war for the Greeks, they go and ruin my temple. I punished them by giving everyone a difficult trip home. Maybe take them a couple of extra months to get back. But it's been ten years. Why have you kept my father away for ten years? Yeah, that wasn't my fault. See, here's what happened. I am Odysseus, king of Ithaca and admiral of the Ithacan fleet, now returning from Ilium. I have 600 soldiers and 12 ships. It is currently ten years ago when we begin the journey home. Uh, yes, Odysseus, we know all this. Hush, it's exposition for the audience. Oh, if only these awful storms hadn't blown us off course and damaged my ships. The map says this island over here has plenty of supplies for us to make repairs with, and the inhabitants are peaceful. We should stop and fix up the ships. Well, that sounds like a capital idea. Lot of Fagi, we have come to your island to fix our ships. Hey, yeah, man, that's cool. 
Why, you look and sound just like the god Apollo. Yeah, groovy. We like, we worship Apollo. And he gives us magical lotus flowers and fruits to let us see the future. It's out of sight. But we can see it, so it's like in sight. It, it's cool. Oh, I have no interest in such things. Oh. I'll try the fruit. I'll try the fruit. Mm -hmm. Odysseus, I have seen the future. The future, Perimidus. Yes, a hundred of our soldiers tried the fruits, and they have all seen themselves dying horrible deaths if they stay with you. Being eaten by one-eyed giants, dying in storms at sea, being eaten by sea monsters, falling off of roofs, being eaten by reavers, I mean, Lystragonians. So they've all decided to just stay here and live on this island instead. And you are leaving me too? No, I'm staying with you. Ah, so you don't die a horrible death then. No, I die a horrible death, but I promised I'd stay with you and I keep my promises. Okay, cool. The ships are all fixed. I am Odysseus, king of Ithaca. I have 500 soldiers and 12 ships. Let's set sail for home. So then he had had his punishment, so I lifted my curse to let him come home. Well, why isn't he home then? Well, they could have restocked food right there on that island, but Odysseus didn't want to risk anyone else eating the lotus fruit, seeing the future and abandoning him. So instead, he decided to stop by one more island on the way to pick up a little food. Goodness, look at all this food lying around the middle of this island. Great, let's take it and head back to the ships. I wonder what it's doing here. I am Polyphemus the Cyclops. You are stealing my food. I do not approve of this behavior, so I am going to trap you all in my cave and eat two of you for dinner every night until you are all gone. This is not going quite as I had planned. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, keep on reading.